Hi, this is Stephen Amaya with the Amaya Group. Today we're going to be talking about why it's important to get pre-approved with an approved lender. Hi, this is Stephen Amaya with the Amaya Group here in Moreno Valley, California. Um, today I'm here with Gabby and we'll be talking about why it's important to get pre-approved with a preferred lender. But before we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to the two links on my blog. First, if you'd like to look for a home to purchase, click on the home search link. If you're looking to get the value of your home, please click on the home value link. Now back to our topic. Today, I have with me my top listing agent on the MI Group, Gabby Hansen. Hi. Um, who will be discussing why it's so important to um, get pre-approved with the preferred lender that we are that we traditionally work with. So um, without any further ado, Gabby, uh, thank you for being with us today. Yeah, thank you, Stephen, for inviting me. Um, my first question is, why do you feel it's important to get pre-qualified with a preferred lender versus just any lender that, you know, let's say Bank of America, Wells Fargo, just a bank that you can walk into? Yes. Um, well, as a listing agent in um, Marina Valley, um, I really like to have um, relationships with great lenders that uh, know what they're doing, are knowledgeable, they're experienced, they have a track record, and uh, having those relationships are really important for me because it uh, protects the seller, protects you as the buyer, uh, making sure that transactions go smoothly, you guys are being informative or informed throughout the whole process, and uh, it's just, it's, it's great overall for everybody. Okay, great. Okay, Gabby, uh, so, do you think it's a good idea to shop for different interest rates? Absolutely. Um, I think it's really important to shop for rates. Um, most of our lenders will be very competitive with rates, but yes, you should shop for rates, um, check with different lenders, see what rates they offer, what their closing costs are, and what down payments are required. But yes, absolutely, shop for rates. Perfect. Okay. Um, how quickly can one of your preferred lenders um, get a transaction closed? Our preferred lenders are actually killing it. Uh, they're closing transactions between 14 days to 30 days. Um, I see a lot of lenders out there that are closing in 45 days, but no, ours are very fast. And uh, they, what they do is they collect everything up front. They don't wait until a transaction is open. So that way that eliminates a lot of waste of time and it makes the transaction go smooth and you can close within 30 days. Okay, so there's a stigma out there. People say that VA takes long, FHA takes 45 days, um, VA, you know, 45 to 60 days. What if, based on your experience, and we sell a lot of homes, yeah. what is the turnaround time on those loans that people say take a little bit longer than, than most? I'm still seeing transactions, FHA and VA transactions close between 14 to 30 days. Again, it just depends on if your lender is prepared to do the transaction, and our lenders are. That's why I love to have a preferred lender, uh, but it's very important to, um, you know, to get all that documentation in before you enter a transaction. Awesome, okay. Um, so do you have multiple preferred lenders that you recommend or do you work with specifically just one? No, I have multiple. I have about three lenders that I can recommend to buyers. It all depends on what their needs are, um, where they're located, um, you know, if they need English or Spanish. Um, but they all are very competitive with their rates. They're all very good. Their time frames are all about the same. So, um, you know, I would make my recommendation depending on your needs. If I'm a first time home buyer watching this video, what's the first step that you recommend to uh, take? First step is to call a realtor, either myself or Stephen, and uh, schedule a buyer's consultation. It's really important to find out what all the steps are to buying a home, not just getting a home loan, but all the steps. And you should meet with us, do a buyer's consultation, it takes about 30 minutes, and we go through each step um, from getting a home loan, from you know looking for a house finding out what it is that you're looking for what time frame you're looking for and what happens throughout the transaction so that happens in a buyer's consultation you get all that information and um, that's the first step do a buyer's consultation okay great all right Gabby uh, well thank you so much for all your input today uh, that's very valuable information so if you're looking to buy a home or sell a home Gabby's also available uh, we'll put her number and her email on the screen feel free to call or text her anytime um, once again thank you for for viewing my blog today and uh, we're here to help and just always remember who you work with matters